What's up, YouTube? Sub OG here, and welcome back to another Yes Reaction video. We are back to the album Fragile for this one. Heart of the Sunrise is a progressive rock song by British band Yes. It is a closing song on their fourth album, 1971's Fragile. The compositional credits go to John Anderson, Bill Bruford, and Chris Squire, though keyboardist Rick Wakeman contributed some uncredited sections. The song eventually rose to became the band's fifth most played song. Wow, okay. And appears on Yes Songs, Classic Yes, In A Word Yes, and many other studio and live retrospectives. The song was featured in the 1998 comedy drama film Buffalo 66. All right, it is a, big, a bit of a longer one, so we're gonna jump right into this. It's about 10 minutes, you guys, so get comfy, and I hope you enjoy this reaction. Here we go. Whoa, all right, we're right into it, huh? Right into it. Where are they going with this? I can't really tell. Right now, it's a, this is a massive buildup, maybe one of the largest and like drawn out buildups. Anticipation, the anticipation is huge right now. I feel like it's gonna just pop, and the uh, there's a little bit of a tension building as well because it's it's rising, it's going uh, the uh, the organ is rising, so it's leading up to something. And I think we're about to get into it in just a second. Maintain this tempo the entire song. Ooh, right back into it. I just went for a sprint. 
that was... That was very intense. I... I... <laughs> the tempo was... Wow, I mean, jeez. comes to you and you follow Mr. John Anderson. Oh, did you guys hear that? Come on, that was very just. What is the word? Harm, like the harmony was just. Listen to this. Listen to this. In with its arms around me. That's beautiful. Are you serious? Again. I I'm gonna remember that. That was that was crazy. This gentleman. That is beautiful. Telling a story. With not with not just lyrics. This was, this actually is triggering some, um, teenage memories for me, actually, and I'll explain. I used to listen to this one band, um, in middle school on a CD player, and music was so tranquilizing and relaxing and hypnotizing to me it was so peaceful and so blissful and it made me feel so good that i'd i would actually doze off to it and, and be at just the most complete peace and silence and relaxation that i've ever felt and i would just lay on my bed and listen to this band right and i would just be in the perfect state of mind this gentleman's voice and the sound coming from this reminds me of that feeling. And the song actually triggered that memory for me. And it's actually quite nice.
1971. These gentlemen. Straight light moving and removing shortness of the girl of sunshine. Straight light searching all the meanings of the song. on a journey everybody and I'm here for it wow let's see anything we can see here classical influence the virtuosity I had been listening to a lot of Stravinsky at the time, who was quite an amazing composer in the band. Were fans of modern music at the time. Weather reports, re weather report, and bands like that were doing far-reaching jazz, rock-influenced music. So we were jumping into the different structural composition. The vocals don't come in on this song until 3:40, giving it the longest intros in rock history. That's what I was about to say. I had a feeling like that was extraordinarily long. It was in a very like um, ambitious tense um tension building uh, what's the word i use it was um the anticipation was like huge towards the end it's a very spiritual song we talked about how it gave how it gives him feelings of completeness and rings true to my chakra energy my consciousness that that's what i was trying to describe feeling of completeness it just kind of it put me in a just a very peaceful state of mind and how do i had i have been able to listen to this with my eyes closed in um like you know a dim lit room or something like that where i can actually just not think about anything not trying to dissect the song and just listening to it i just i feel like i would have been in a very peaceful place that yeah that was a I think this song deserves some special attention, honestly. The Earth and the Cosmos are where John gets a lot of his inspiration and energy. I felt it. I seriously did. Like, actually. Mate wrote the main riff. Okay. Yep. 
It was the most complete but a precise example of, of what Yes was doing. There's really something really special about this song. I don't think maybe not a lot of people don't like it because it's so long. And you know, it's kind of hard to listen to maybe with friends or with a group of people, but I feel like this would be much better listened to on your own. And um, I think that's where you can most appreciate it. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down below of Heart of the Sunrise. I think it was really special. <clears throat> it doesn't really ar arise many emotions um, other than like peacefulness and just the feeling of complac complacency and bliss, like just at peace, like just very tranced wow there's something about this one yeah i mean i know i didn't it wasn't like the most reaction like i didn't really feel compelled as far as like wow a wow factor like the other yes songs but this one i think might have affected me the most if that makes sense and if you've made it this far into the video i thank you and let me know if you feel the same way so thank you so much for listening and sticking through this one with me. I appreciate it, you guys. And if you enjoyed the reaction, don't forget to subscribe, like the video because it helps out the channel a lot and definitely hit the comment section. I'm interested to see how you feel about this if you uh, agree with me at all. So once again, thank you and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.